you hear those coyotes? Well, here, let me show you my work setup this morning. These, by the way, are my favorite shoes ever. Ta-da! This is my work setup today. Woke up and the solar battery was dead. All of our computers were dead. The hotspot was dead. Everything was dead. But thankfully, we have so much sun today. So a lot of wattage coming in and everything's like charging out here. So I've just been like sitting here hunched over, editing, uploading. Whoa, look at this hopper. Oh man, look at that hopper. That thing's a giant. Oh man, oh man. If I could spook them, you could see that like yellow. They're everywhere. But that is exactly why we are fishing today. We made it! Yay! So we're fishing this evening and like I said earlier, this is catch and cook. So our goal is to catch two probably rainbow trout that are decent size for us to eat for dinner tonight. Rig is set up. Nick hates when I call it a rig. My fishing rod or pole. <laughs> I went for a Sally simulator tonight. I'm gonna start with that. There are some steaks in fishing tonight because we're trying to catch dinner, literally. We bought some yummy stuff from the store to cook with the fish, so now we just have to do our job and actually catch one. See how this goes. Oh. Said he got tangled. Did you say you had a fish on, or you just snagged? Look at that! <laughs> oh, wow. First cast. Look at that, beautiful. I set the hook on him like he was a... Giant fish? A muskie. Aw, that's all right. He flew out of the water. He'll be all right. Literally first cast. Nick's on the board! There's probably another one in there. I saw a big okay. one. There's no way that was him making up all that yeah. splashing. <laughs> that water is cold. It's a beautiful rock. Look at how pretty this rock is. I mean, I might be ridiculous, but isn't that a cool pattern on that rock? I'm into that. Lovely. This one's not as colorful. I know, isn't that interesting that some of them hold a lot of color and some of them don't. There's so many of them right here. Do you hear those coyotes? They can't be that far away, I just can't see them. They must be in the timber. Because we're only catching brook trout here, oh my god, those freaking coyotes! He's so close! Let's see if I can catch him. Okay. Yeah, they're mad. Coyotes are so funny. See, I'm never gonna see him through these willows, but they moved from where we were hearing them earlier. Anyways. <laughs> All right, so I see the first sizable fish of the night. Sizable meaning keepable. And he just rose, we just rose again. So I'm gonna set you down, I'm gonna try and, woohoo, aggressive. You can probably hear that. I'm gonna try and film this. Oh, 
<laughs> there he is! It's dinner! All right, so I'm gonna... Sorry, man. Well, caught first dinner, and I, they gouged his eyeball out. I was just hitting him over the head with a rock just to dispatch him quickly. I think I got a little carried away. But there are more fish in here, so I'm going to like clean him up and try to keep him in the cold water, and then try to catch another. So look at how I have him set up right now. Genius. So he's staying cold while we catch another. No! No, I can't! No! No! So I'm gonna gut this guy while we're here on the water just to keep things clean. I have a fillet knife. You don't need a fillet knife. This actually has some lights, so that'll help me see while I'm doing this. But I'm gonna start by cutting his tongue out, zipping the body, and then pulling it. So he's open there. I'll slip this in here so I don't accidentally cut myself. That dark red in there, that's a bloodline, so we brought a spoon, and I'm just gonna carve that last bit out. Otherwise, you can see it's beautiful flesh in there. Let me dig this out. nice and clean. There's a little bit more in there that I could scrape out, but for the most part, that is good to go. That's good. Now, all I have is a shopping bag, so that's where I'm going to put them. Um, it'd be ideal if we could put them, like, right on ice, but we're not that far from camp, and it's pretty cold outside, so this will have to do for now. There he is, all beautiful. the goods and we're headed back to camp now. We are going to cook up this fish with some quinoa. Ooh, quinoa. We have some veggies and a bottle of wine. We normally will just drink beer. We're not huge on wine, but it's a special night. So we're gonna enjoy some red wine. All right. So, we're back in the trailer, obviously, and I've started cooking our delicious trout dinner. I have some white onion and some peppers simmering away in some olive oil with salt and pepper. I have some quinoa cooking away. I'm going to let these onions caramelize, and then I'll take probably two-thirds of this mixture, put it in with the quinoa, keep that warm, and then I will throw the whole fish in with the rest of the onion and peppers. And I have some garlic. We have some rosemary and some lemon that we'll squirt on top as well. This is gonna be such a good meal. I am looking forward to this. We also have, ooh, 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 ooh. sorry it's a little messy back here. This is like true trailer life. We have a bottle of red wine that we are going to pop open and enjoy with our wild trout dinner. Oh yeah.
Da, da, da. Look at the beauty. Well, I think it's pretty. It might look a little funny. What do you think? You're hungry? <laughs> oh, we actually just opened... Oh, that probably has a beer opener, too. We just opened this lovely bottle of red wine with this little tool. Check it out. The multi-tool is by... Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, cool. We actually need that, too. Works, huh? Yeah. So... This is a little multi-tool called the Power Leader by SOG and we just used it to open that bottle of wine. I should have taken a video of it, but I didn't. That's okay. But there's the fish, there's the sweets, and we are hungry, so let's eat. Actually, you should probably watch as we take our first bite. Mm -hmm. Not a huge fish person. That actually tastes damn good. Whenever you cook really any kind of fish, and again, I'm not a huge fish person, but you want to cook it until the skin peels right off and the bones peel right off. So you can see how these bones separated just so clean, so perfectly, and how the skin has just peeled right off. And then you're left with just beautiful, fleshy meat to eat. And then I'm gonna eat this one with a little quinoa. So the quinoa has like the peppers and garlic and onion and everything in it. Well, that is it, YouTube. Thank you guys. Actually, let me, oh, let me pull myself. That is it, YouTube. Thank you guys so much for following along and watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you in the next video.